NL, does your wife use the Peloton? Not at all. She simply bought it for me. I am the Peloton wife. That's my secret captain. I am the Peloton wife. Can I tell you, it's nice to get confirmation of what I said uh, like a while ago. What I said a while ago was like everyone was getting mad about the Peloton ad where this is before I even had one, where the husband buys his wife a Peloton. Everyone was like, worst husband of all time. I said, honestly, I can understand why you would say that. Cause like, if you have the, if you take the worst faith possible interpretation of it, you're basically saying, hey, happy birthday, honey, you're out of shape, okay? But I, if someone's like interested in starting to build healthy habits and your partner buys you a, a sick piece of exercise equipment, that's love, man. Instead, people, this is ridiculous. I can't believe the corporate messaging that would possibly happen. And look at her. Now that she's got the Peloton, she's got to wake up at 6 a.m. in order to do the bike rides. And I'm like, yeah, and she's freaking, look at her. She looks amazing. She's happy. I mean, she's a paid actress, but like, she's smiling. She's like, I'm glad we got this because, I mean, it's a paid ad. I'm just saying, like, what's, what's wrong with it? I don't, I don't see what the problem is. That's the single person brain. My friends without wives be like, this ad is ridiculous. But I just like, e even, you know, before I had one, I was like, listen, you can make fun of the company for a lot of things. Like it is a $2,000 exercise bike, but like making fun of like, oh, like their Peloton wife is definitely gonna divorce her husband for that gift. It's a great gift. I don't know what, sorry for giving you a gift that's like, um, hey, I want you to be like happy and healthy and like, you know, live for a long time and have like a high quality of life. It always struck me as a, as a bit of a disingenuous take, I guess. And as someone who, you know, that's kind of like my bread and butter, I was like, takes one to no one, man. Like when Kate got me a Peloton, I, was there the subtext that was like, hey, you know, husband, you're getting a little out of shape? Yeah, I got eyes. <laughs> And I was like, you know what? Thank you so much for this gift. This will make it a lot more convenient for me to try to get in shape. And you know, as a result of that, we built uh, we built better habits. And uh, and here we stand before you, a, 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 ha a happier, healthier man as a result. No, like I definitely think like, I would say like if it's your wife's birthday and you, you Homer Simpson it, if you get her like a, if you get her a, a vacuum cleaner or a bowling ball, like I think that's a terrible idea. A piece of workout equipment is not the same. Like a vacuum is like a duty that she, you're, you're suggesting that she has to do, like to clean the house. I think suggesting that um, the only reason that your wife should have good physical fitness is to satisfy the male gaze. That implication is more troubling than uh, the the implication that you're a bad husband for purchasing her an exercise bike. I think, why, why are you taking away Peloton wife's uh, autonomy like that? Seems a little, I'm just gonna say it. And if, if this is a problem for people, then they can tell me, but I'm just, it seems a little sus to me.